Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today. In today's video, we have to talk about Warren Buffett's 13F filings because he's been going crazy buying and selling, but way more buying because he's a perfect market timer. Don't believe what he says, even though he says, oh, I don't market time, I can't really predict the bottom, but he knows when the market is too high and when it's gonna sell off, which is super, super key. So in this video, we're gonna talk about all his new holdings, all the things that he bought, all the things that he sold, what can we look for, how are we analyzing these companies. Leave your comments down below and let's talk about some of these companies. But before we do, we have to understand that he just timed this so perfect because he knew back in 2021 there was so much damn speculation, so much over evaluation. He was sitting on so much money over a hundred billions of dollars just sitting on the sideline waiting for his opportunity to pounce because he knew it was gonna crash he knew the market was gonna crash look what the s p has done last six months down 16 percent this is the perfect time to buy everyone that's scared everyone that's fleeing the market is doing everything wrong right now if you're buying right now you have to buy strong companies and they're gonna return i guarantee you maybe two years three years four years who knows but it's gonna return because look at this if you didn't buy during this market low during the whole pandemic look 28 percent, and look at this huge bounce back that bounce back is bound to happen sometime again with the s p 500 but picking the right companies is super key we're gonna look at the picks that warren buffett bought but look at this video you we have to look back at 2021 to see how he predicted this because he knew it was coming and he always does this as if you deem stock prices to be overvalued or in a bubble, you think it's best to keep your money in cash while waiting for prices to come down to a fair price? Or would it be a better idea to invest this money in some way while waiting until stock prices are fair again and then sell the investment to buy the stock? Well, Charlie and I have had that discussion on a lot of things. Uh, we've, we bought some stocks we really don't know that much about, but I'm not really comfortable doing that. Uh, uh, you're used to shooting fish in a barrel, but that's gotten harder. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've got probably 10 to 15 percent uh, of our total assets in, in cash beyond what I would like to have. Just as You hear that? 10 to 15 percent of cash above what he likes to have. This is all about just waiting, just waiting patiently for his turn in the market to buy, buy, buy. Because... Look at this, all his buying, like this is not just some random event. Like he bought a whole company, Allegheny, an insurance company. He bought the whole company. Activision Blizzard, Chevron, Ted or Todd Block, Florin Decker, Liberty Media, RH, General Motors. He said he bought more Apple, Occidental. He's been buying Occidental basically every single damn quarter. Like he can't get enough of Occidental. HP, Citigroup, Paramount, like Ali, Markel, like everything like this is the most buying like compare q1 to q4 to q3 to q2 to q1 just look at the let's just look at these companies and then compare it to boom it's not a coincidence that he's just buying like crazy during this huge market sell-off that's a way of protecting uh, the owners the people that are our partners from ever having having us ever get in the pickle you know we 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 really want that person to make sure that 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 uh, we, we don't want to lose other people's money who will, will stick with us for years. We can't help what somebody does it, buys it today and sells it tomorrow. But we we've got a we got a real gene that pushes us in that direction. But we've got more than we we've got probably seventy or eighty billion, uh, something like that, maybe. That we'd love to put to work. Uh, but that's 10% of our assets, roughly, and and and, and uh, uh, we probably won't get well, we won't get a chance to do it uh, uh, under these conditions. But condi see, we won't get a chance to do it under these conditions. This is back in 2021, where everything was going crazy, like SPACs and all the GME stuff, AMC, all that stuff. 2021, everything was going mad, insane. 
So look what's happening now. He understood the times that we were in and the market condition and just waited patiently. That's all he did. So that's how we have to kind of learn and like kind of adapt to what Warren Buffett does. When Warren Buffett says that he's not able to market time, he's not able to predict the absolute bottom, but he understands when stocks get cheap and when companies are going down rapidly during conditions because he, like he just said, he's going to say conditions change very fast. Conditions change very, very, very rapidly, sometimes in markets. And we do have people that would like to join us, uh, but the market option they have is just too great for them. And if they're publicly traded, I mean, they, they basically... And look at the market conditions right now. <laughs> We're in a damn bear market. So now let's go to look at his companies and look what he's bought. So as I mentioned before, he bought more Activision Blizzard. So basically he's trying to do an arbitrage play because Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard. So he's probably looking at a 20% return at the end of the year if they start, if they actually close it. So let's see what happens. Florin Decker is probably a Ted or Todd play. He's probably seeing the house and market boom or he's probably expecting the house and market to keep continuing or people to keep making houses because houses aren't still in a strong demand even though uh, interest rates are keep going up. Chevron, man. He's been going crazy buying into Chevron. Like crazy. He's buying into RH, uh, house furnishing, more General Motors, more Apple. What well, Apple's a very interesting play because that's already ran off. Like, it really ran really high, so I'm surprised he's still buying more Apple. But Apple is doing a lot of buybacks, so probably that's another reason. Strong, good dividend, a lot of buybacks. HP Occidental, Paramount. HP has a crazy free cash flow yield. Oxy and Chevron. Chevron's trading at a PE of 15, a 3% dividend, which is pretty good. 329 billion market cap generated 6.2 billion of net income and around like 15 to 16 billion of net income for 2021 so pretty strong company and i think this is just willing to look at where gas is heading especially with the whole russia crisis and people are going to be using more gas and you see oil just going crazy so it has to be a strong play on oil they have oxy 2 9 PE, 9 to 10 PE, not a good dividend yield, $59 billion market cap. This has a huge yield, like a huge free cash flow yield, which is actually pretty crazy. And I think this is what he's looking at when it comes to um, Oxy, 16% free cash flow yield. So this company is a freaking monster right now. And he's just been buying this like crazy over a year. Look what it's been done, 123%. So He's just buying, 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 and I can't see any stop. He bought Paramount, too. Paramount is an interesting company. We understand Paramount, all the movies. 5 PE, $21 billion, two, uh, almost, almost a 3% dividend yield, generated $433 million for the quarter, down 52%. It's an interesting play. Maybe someone buys it out. Like maybe like an Amazon, but I think Amazon just bought out another company. Maybe Netflix does something with their cash. I don't know. But Paramount is an interesting company to look at. They have pretty good free cash flow. I think they were free cash flow negative this year or last year. So he probably sees something in Paramount that I don't see. Maybe tell me what you think about Paramount. Is Paramount a good buy right now? What do you think about Paramount? So Warren Buffett has been just buying a lot of interesting companies, which I honestly probably wouldn't buy myself. Like all these companies, even HP, HP has a crazy free cash flow yield. They're buying back shares. That's what he's really looking for. Like strong companies with strong free cash flow yields and just good, but not really solid sound businesses in my opinion. They're not really, they, you can't really predict, the, these businesses, you can't really predict the future. Because like Oxy and Chevron, what happens with gas prices? Like we don't really know. HP, almost pretty much a dying company, but they provide a lot of value still. Ali, Markel, Paramount. I think the most interesting thing he's bought right now, I think it's Oxy and Chevron. Because I think he's just making a stance that he's bullish on oil. And it's almost like he's making a macro play without really saying it. What do you think about that? I don't I don't really know, but tell me your thoughts on uh, all Warren Buffett's buys, man. Do you like them? Do you dislike him? 
what do you think guys so please like this video subscribe to my channel and i get back to you in the next one peace